Hi, my name is Joe and welcome to another short edition of Joe's Technology. Today I'm unboxing a motherboard from Gigabyte. Specifically, this is the B85M DS3H. Alright, so what's up with these uh, motherboard uh, model names? Well, this refers to the type of chipset that this motherboard has. In this case, a B85. I know, big surprise, right? And what does that do? Well, by telling us what type of chipset it has, this tells us right away what capabilities that it has, if you know what B85 means. Uh, you know, how many USB supports it, uh, ports it supports, what type of uh, processors it supports. In this case, this is an LGA 1150 uh, socketed motherboard, so it supports all the uh, LGA 1150 uh, processors. And in my case, I'm going to end up putting an i3 on this, but uh, uh, it makes a very nice, inexpensive board uh, for the money. Oh, and then what's really nice, oh, um, well, let's see, should we wait till we, nah, you know, I'll tell you. Uh, the reason that I, I picked this one in particular is because it supports PCIe 3. So uh, that way you can have a modern video card, uh, modern GPU, all the way up to the biggest, craziest uh, 900 series uh, NVIDIAs if you wanted to, or something a little bit more modest, but you get the full uh, bandwidth uh, available for uh, uh, PCI Express version 3. So let's open it up and see what we get. So if you buy this, uh, uh, I'm going to get the bike. Good grief. So inside here we have our, our shield that goes on to the case. So normally when you, uh, you get a case, you'll have a big uh, uh, area that's cut out because they don't know where the ports are going to line up for the motherboard that you select. So these shields are included so that you can pop it into the case. They'll all be a standard size. It's just the port configuration will be specific to the motherboard. So uh, this is the one that comes for this board. Uh, let's see, we have a uh, nice uh, SATA cables. So... This will be hooking up you know, hard drive, CD-ROM, what, whatever SATA uh, devices they uh, you want to hook up. It probably doesn't make a difference whether you're hooking up SATA 2 or 3. I'm just looking to see if they have something that specifically says SATA 3, but they, they should be just fine. And let's see. Uh, oh, I guess this is in Spanish, so... Well, Gigabyte distributes all over the world, so... If you're in a Spanish-speaking uh, country, or Spanish happens to be your your preferred language, um, then, then Gigabyte's got you covered with a little info. Then we have our little ultra-durable manual. It has all kinds of goodness, and uh, it comes with a few drivers for uh, specific things. Now, you can use this, again, if, um, if you've seen some of my other videos. If you don't have access to the internet, go ahead and use the drivers that are on the disk, because... That's the only game in town. But if you do have access to the internet, you can always go on Gigabyte's website and download the latest drivers. There are new versions of the drivers coming out all the time. And which version you have may make a big difference on performance for whatever it is that you happen to be installing them for. Um, let's see. Typical stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, how to uh, hook up the different cables. Um, this is important once we get to the motherboards. Uh, a walkthrough of the BIOS setup screens. Um, BIOS, if you don't know, is the basic input-output system. Well, that's right. Now it's uh, UEFI. Um, I forgot what UEFI is, but I'm sure it'll support all the legacy stuff, too. As you can see, this is kind of a no-frills box. So we got the manuals, the disc, and Presto board in a bag. Um, but it's a good board, so that's okay. And it wasn't very expensive, most importantly. Here, let's open the bag up. Now remember that you want to do this in a static-free environment, if at all possible. <laughs> all it takes is a little bit of static electricity to turn this beautiful work of art into junk. So here we have our, uh, our motherboard, the uh, B85M DS3H. So here's our SOT for our, our 1150 socket. Um, of course, we've got a uh, button cell to maintain the uh, power for the uh, memory of the uh, onboard uh, 
UEFI or, or BIOS. Uh, it's, it's got a dual BIOS, so I, it's probably got both. Gigabyte's pretty good about that. Here's our PCI-3 uh, socket here, and these are PCI-1s. And then here, ta-da, we have four DIMM slots for memory. So that's great. So you can put a, a whole bunch of memory into this uh, unit here. And what's really impressive, and this is what I really love, for such a budget board, this has six uh, SATA uh, ports on it. Notice this. Mm. Two of them are SATA uh, 2, and, and four of them are SATA 3. So if you want to stick all kinds of drives in this thing and just go bonkers, you can. You can load this thing up. So although it's a small board, which is designed to be uh, for a budget system, it doesn't compromise on uh, connectivity. Oh, and then here on the back, we have some built-in ports. Again, very impressive, Gigabyte. Uh, <laughs> Gigabyte even includes PS2 ports. Uh, if you're not old enough to know what those are, don't worry. Um, you probably don't need them, but um, <laughs> they're there just in case you do. USB 2.0 and 3.0. We have HDMI, we have uh, VGA, we have uh, DVI. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, of course, you'll only use these uh, these video ports here if you're not already installing your own video card. Uh, that's why I went with the capability for a PCI 3 slot so that I could stick in a GPU. But if I didn't, if I was just using the board as is, this should connect to. Whoops. Here, let me get this in the frame. Uh, any monitor there is, because they're they're all there. And, of course, we have uh, some more USB ports. Uh, they're 2.0. Uh, the way you can tell the difference between 2.0 and 3.0, if you didn't know, is 3.0s are blue. And then, of course, built-in network and some analog audio. For a budget board, this is pretty good. You, you can look up your current prices, but um, when I bought it, it was not that expensive. The B85DS3H uh, is a great little board, and I'm looking forward to setting this up in a nice little budget gaming computer uh, with a nice little i3 processor, personally. But you could go crazy, and you could stick something bigger, like an i5 or even an i7 on this board. All right, enjoy. This has been my unboxing. Uh, join me again next time on Joe's Technology.